Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, take your time. Wow, look at you, you look great. Thanks. All ready for work. I figured I gotta put my glasses on because my avatar has my glasses on. You're <laughs> you have to dress as is. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I'm muted? No, no. I know I'm in my my uh I'm in my flying suit. All right, can you hear me? Yes, I can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome, perfect. How you doing? I'm when good. When did you go to Boston? Last I got in at midnight last night. Jesus. Um, I know my uh my my the kids are coming here, so we're gonna go. I get to see them and my mom, my stepdad. So we're gonna be hanging out just till they're leaving Wednesday. I'll, I'll leave out five forty five in the morning on Friday on Thursday, so I'll be Jesus. home by ten a.m. on Friday. I mean Thursday. Yeah, but it's okay. It's a quick flight. It's not bad. I I sleep. I sleep well on flight. I sleep well all together, but I sleep well on flights. <laughs> you look cute. Uh, you flew on Mercury retrograde? Yes, I bought my ticket before it. Oh, <clears throat> no, as long as you buy your tickets, usually along a lot of times as I do it without shadow when it's not even in shadow. Yeah. You buy tickets for it. You usually try not, not have any tickets. It can control the snafus. Um, so I had a ticket in May I had to buy, I bought right before because it would have been I wouldn't have been able to get the deal. And then this one was um before that. So yeah, it worked out. No, no, I'm I'm crazy like that. And the <laughs> hubby's, what's he doing? My hubby's home. He's uh he's home with the pup and uh he's working. Yeah, I'm just here to like it's quick. I wanted to just see the kids and do the they're doing we're doing the duck boats. And the last time I was here with the duck boats and she was probably four or five and she's twelve now. So it's and now Isaac wasn't around. Now Isaac's new to the duck boats, so it'll be fun. They haven't seen, but he hasn't seen Boston. It'll be nice. I love Boston. Where Boston. do your parents, where do they live? Oh, well, we you know. went Winthrop, eight minutes outside the city. I grew, I, I grew up basically in the city. <clears throat> like I'm in Winthrop, we're right next to the airport. Like I can see the airport, like right across. If I drive down the end of my street, I can see there's the the bay and then there's the airport. It's like right Okay, so the and then that's where you I, grew up. You uh -huh. grew up there. You went to high school mm -hmm. there, the whole deal. You didn't move to Florida till you were like 35, right? That's right. I um, I know I grew up here, right? I'm in, sitting in my brother's old room, which has all of the old high school memorabilia that he still has, in, which is adorable. And I remember that, that <clears throat> the style of the wood frame, keeping the wood frame. You mean, you mean the, 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 the. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have all to my ways. You're go are you going to run into an ex boyfriend? No. Come on. No, no. I, no, no. <laughs> no, <they're, laughs> um, they, they, no, they, they, they'd be tough to find. Plus, I'm not here fast enough to, um, I have, to, I have bumped into high school. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Bo boyfriends in high school boyfriends. Yes. I see those everywhere when I'm here. Because they are, a lot of them are still here. <laughs> it's funny. I don't live anywhere near, um, I would, I mean, it's about an hour away, 35, 40 minutes. But my, um, and I didn't, I moved here when I was a junior in high school. So like, oh, um, awesome. everybody had all their friends. It was kind of tough. Yeah. But um, I did make one good friend that lived right down the street. She's wonderful. Oh, Stephen nice. Aries, we still keep in touch. So she like is like the one person that everybody kind of she does all the work. You know what uh -huh. I mean? She does the work to keep in touch with all of her friends. She's just That's that way. huge. You need somebody like that. My yeah. sister in law is a lot like that. Which oh, is, okay. I'm. <clears throat> you could take it or leave it. I know Aquarius. My best friend of twenty five years of thirty years, whatever. I just talk to her. I'll see her. So she was, and she's from Iowa. So she didn't go to high school with me. I met her like out of high school. The girls I went to high school with, they actually a lot of them moved. They stay. They're in Winthrop. A lot of them, but they um, I think they they're like they stay close to their families. But they um, I think they met and like married people that um, they've known from the area. Boston's. I mean, I hate to say it. It's just so expensive. 
It's so expensive. I yeah. don't know anybody lives here. I, 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 when I, even I moved back 2013 to 2015, if I decided to stay, I would have needed assisted housing. Yeah. Like, no matter what. And I'm a hairdresser. I was a hairdresser on Newbridge. I'm the most high. I, lived, I worked above Giorgio Armani. I mean, it wasn't like I, I had a low end. It was like a salon, right. a salon right, you know, right. with like $65 haircuts. Wow. But it's still, no matter what, it cost me $200 just to go to work. Because oh I'm my god, I'm 20 minutes north of the city, you can take the commuter rail, which is $231, $235 a month plus the parking, or you can right. rent a spot in the city for two to three hundred dollars. So either way, I had no way to get here without spending at least two hundred dollars. Wow. Crazy. I'm like before I even got a paycheck, it was gone. Like right. it was, and then the taxes and then all the things and Oh, that feels like now too. <laughs> and then the weather and then the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like we're going to have rain for the next four days. Woo! <laughs> liquid, uh, sunshine. liquid sunshine. Yeah. Sorry your about that. Looks, your room looks nice. This is, was my son's um, school room during COVID. Ah. So everything is red and white, like red pillow, <laughs> red thing. <laughs> and I just haven't gotten around to paint or my light. The light is red. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. So um, I mean, what's the right have to do with that? Keep you stimulated? He loves red. He's got the oh. red thing up here. Oh, he's, okay. He's a Leo. Oh, okay. Fire. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's, it's even that, that literal. <laughs> So um, I hope everything worked out at work. Oh, man. You know, it's funny. Astro talk. Yes, that's true. You can't warn people enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's not like people can stay in the house and not do anything. No. You no, can't. You just can't. You, you have, have to, to live your love. You have to live your life. Mm -hmm. You just have to live your life with an umbrella. Like, oh, shit. Like, right. Well, you um, live your life with not knowing the possible situations that could occur, uh, uh, it could apply, and and I think that had a lot to do with um, you know, just to touch based on this one is the the Venus asp the Venus in the Venus um time the uh, signature that uh, that is coming through us for the next I mean all of April at least all of April because Mars because uh, Venus is in Mars uh, Air Aries till the end of April. Um, will be a lot of, and people don't, and I put this in one of my posts that it's literal. You'll like women on women interactions will not be comfortable. Yeah. They're going to be challenging and people don't realize like, you know, women and then feminine as in, I don't, whatever you like, like associate yourself as being feminine energy. Yeah. Feminine. You have yeah. All feminine. your feminine, even the people who consider themselves men their feminine energy is exactly yeah yeah so but it starts off with today happy new happy happy, happy april fools rabbit rabbit um, so we got to talk about the boat crash okay yes that was that i mean i think that was a hundred percent the eclipse well of course but it's also um oh, my phone okay hold on let me show you um uh, i have uh what happened there the boat crash was also the Jupiter Uranus connect is was your Ur Ur Jupiter's applying to Uranus. Now, Aries, uh, the moment it happened, they got the news Mars had just moved into Neptune water. Yeah. Jupiter, huge. Mars moved into Pisces. Aries. Oh, I'm sorry, Pisces. Yes. So that's, yes. I'm sorry, Neptune well, that's Neptune okay. is a modern ruler of Pisces. Let me bring the chart up. But also Jupiter, if you look at Jupiter, Jupiter's conjunct Uranus. Well, it's applying within now to now it's an orb. Um, so that Jupiter rules Pisces in the in tradition. Correct. Yes. Europe, Neptune rules Pisces modern. Yes. Mars rules action. Now it's in the water, not happy, cools off, and sad and Jupiter is hitting that Uranus. So, um, it's, it's a pretty, it's a, it's like the perfect storm. Um, yeah, no, I no, mean, I, I Saturn also conjunct 
uh, very close to Venus with Venus being the ruler of that eclipse. She's in water. Um, and I don't want to say, I shouldn't say she, but Venus is in well, a Venus water is sign. Her, her and moon are the only two. Matched right into a structure, which is Saturn. And Mercury through the power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then definitely the eclipses have a lot to do with that, of course. I mean, this is like just that this is what the. Uh, if you look at if anyone is into it and looks at if you even looked at astrology, if even if you looked at a chart, there's an organ. The, the planets are organized. They, yeah. they have a mission. They're, they're on a mission for something because this very rare, very unseen um transits that we are occurring that's occurring that we've never experienced before right that has never been so condensed at the same time and has never been hitting at the same time like at least you get usually an orb but i mean when you when we do a midday mashup of like oh my god this is this is something that we didn't fit we you couldn't fit in my post or whatever or yeah. your post and but it's happening at the same time and you really can't explain all of it or else it becomes a blog. It becomes a weekly, you know, and it so becomes it, overwhelming. It, and it becomes a lot for someone to even grasp, like to what's yeah. going on. Like, so if you right. they're like, well, what could have caused that? Well, you know, exactly what happens. It, I mean, it was it, it, it like Uranus uh, and, and Uranus is, is electricity. Electricity yeah. went out on the boat. And the Jupiter vessel, as yeah. Aries came into, as Mars came into Neptune, confused as all hell, not knowing what the hell, because he's he's still going, but he's going slower. But he's that, and nobody saw it coming. No one saw it, it just coming. Just like happened. The fact that they got them out was, which is, uh, or got the Mayday enough time to slow down, stop the bridges and the timing and all. Yeah, that. Yeah, stop the drivers. Yeah, major. Um, yeah, Ninety I'm seconds. I, it's it's incredible and like yeah I, how did then i the, the question i get is like how did they not how did didn't they don't they test that stuff right before they i mean i don't know yeah what, so i was talking to my dad who was in the navy for one hundred and fifty thousand years <laughs> and he said yes there's checks and balances and checks and more balances and he said it looks like they just lost power like yeah. there was just some happened failure that to they launch. Left, that they thought checked like, off like they never would have launched that vessel no. which is a gigantic vessel if they thought everything was wrong and here's the other thing yes they are in great communication with the riverboat captains who were actually steering the, not steering the ship but guiding the ship mm -hmm. um and the ones that got word to land you know 911 to stop the cars mm -hmm. That's very mercurial. It was just an That's accident. You know what I mean? It was just, it's so mercury. It is the so. Fact that those cars before they got on the bridge is somebody's, it hit somebody's mercury just right. A few people. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, you know, would be interested to see the charts of some of those people, but it's also, you yeah. know, not our business, but. Uh, of course. But you also, that was yeah. rough. That's rough. They're going to be dealing with that for a long, long, long time. Something and now, if you recall, was it last month that we had a lot of airplane situations go on? Yeah, we had Mars and Aquarius. Mars is Aquarius, yeah. and big, you know, is is also <clears throat> air tra air. Yeah, air sign. I mean, not necessarily yeah. travel. No, it's pi it rules pilots. Yep, yeah, any air travel. travel. Mm -hmm. Yep, any <clears throat> futuristic, <throat> which air travel is futuristic. Yeah, Mars isn't really one to mess around with. Like when it does come in no. and <clears throat> every ingress he has, and I say he, he they have it. Every interest ingress that planet has, something happens. He is and he. You okay? But they, <laughs> no, they do have it. No, the only two women planets are Venus and moon, the Moon. Everything yeah. else is, is a gender is a male gender. That's just the way how it works. Yeah, Mercury is a uh, neutral. Yeah, neutral. It's a, yeah, it's a bop around. Which is, I'm I think, so interesting. I was reading, what's that? Something pops around too much. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, the male gods and female gods, they never had a problem with him because he, Mercury was not, it was asexual. There was no, even his, the name of Mercury. Doesn't matter, is, but you know that he, anything he's close to, he picks that up. Right, right. Which is, if he's into a 
he's going to be malefic. If he's going to be next to a benefic trickster, he's going to play with the team that he's like, he's the one that jumps on the bandwagon of the team. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he doesn't really have one that says to himself, he's kind of led, um, except for now when he's retrograde. And then he has a lot to say or not say. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> so my niece was born 19 years ago during the last Aries conjunction. Aries uh, the ne- the eclipse. Note. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Note every 18 years. Well, it takes them 18 years to grow around the, the zodiac, 18, 19. Yeah. The zodiac. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I that's why this is and I was like, good. holy moly, kiddo. Yeah. So I told her, like, she wasn't. I mean, you know, before they're 18, they're very moon sign related. Mm -hmm. Um, So that was, that's an Aquarius. I feel that, oh yeah. I feel that um, when it comes to, uh, let's say I have a, my, my, my cousin has a son, he's Aries, uh, Aries, wait, Aries ascendant, Libra, Libra seventh or vice versa, whatever. I think it's vice versa. I think it's Aries on the ascendant on the, on the, uh, you know what I can, let me just check real quick, just so I can get this right. Because what they're going through um, is more than I think they can handle. Yeah. Yeah. He's got Aries on the seventh and he has Jupiter. So Libra's on the first. So he's actually working towards his North node, but it's still being in the first and the third, the seventh houses in that condensed in like in the stelliums of in that whole you know that's a lot to take on as especially people with not a lot of life experience yeah you know what i mean like that it's like it's it's i i, I can't see it not being overwhelming where everyone's out of 15 like you know just especially the eclipse and in between the eclipse is like people are just woof just seems like they're out of like just just grabbing for straws on like what what to do what to go next what's my you know what you know how to like handle like what the energies are um this these are doozies man i'm doozy and the fact that mercury went retrograde today and it's in cahoots with the eclipse which has a lot to do with um let me get the eclipse up um which is the eighth um yeah it's a lot it has a lot to do with the releasing of communication prompt like um processing you know you got people like that are not in a good situation is going to keep trying to go back and back and back and this is one of those times that um if it's over it's over done done unfortunately because of the eclipse and it's on the the note of the axis of me you us other my relationship your relationship my life your life you know it's not again it's not there's no combination of like taurus and what do you want to build with each other or all this it's like aries solo or libra partner so you're choosing and and then and then a lot of people that aren't the ones doing the choosing it's challenging because even if they get the kind of go this may work out maybe Mercury, you get three weeks before Mercury goes back. And then if Mercury does go ahead, you usually revisit it and it, it it's gonna, you know, it it's it's gonna need more re- reaction, revisit revision is what I Mercury's are, I mean, I always found Mer- I mean, I use them now because I know them. I yeah. I, I understand them and I found it to be the less of the the the, the least of mo- the path of least resistance is using it for the time to go, oh, great, Mercury's in retrograde. I'm not gonna try to communicate too seriously. I'm gonna go over the stuff that I haven't finished that I'm really looking forward to getting into. Like there's just certain things you wanna finish. I mean, I really look for it as, a, as like a blessing to take a break on starting new stuff because yeah, there's something missing and this, that's what happens with, and especially this one because it stopped in Aries. It's at the, it, it, it's at the last degree it is at oh no. Should I bring the chart up for today, even though um, it's in Placidus? <laughs> well, it's kind of harder to see because if it splits that tenth house, it's gonna really confuse people. Because the tenth house, this is what the, this yeah, is what it looks like. 
So that's the whole sign. So we see this is the condensation of planets and where it's coming and where it's going. So basically right. this is our action. And so it's coming from Pisces, I'm sorry, to where we're, we're, we're swimming through the, like trying to figure out our, our emotions, our what life. What is that? What app is that? This is, uh, this is um, Ask Screw Gold on, on iOS. So this is Astro Gold, which is a lot cheaper than um, the OS for the system. So I would, and then and you can do everything. You can I have do Astro Gold. On you have Astro Gold. Yeah. Oh my God! Do you not use it? Um, I you don't gotta like it, it as much as Astro.com. You will once you learn it, and I can help you with that because it took me. It, it's you have to play with it, and it's easier to take out the planets and the, to remove what you need or put in like. You know, if you want to just look at certain um, transits between planets or just the site of a planet, you can watch it. Oh, Even, it also has it also has a really cool feature that if you have two client things, you has it has um a clock feature which keeps it roll going. It'll just keep on going minutes and minutes and minute. Um, yeah, but basically it's like letting go, letting go, letting go. We still have a couple of sticky situations coming up. And that then this is April 8th. Let me let me go through April. This is for the week of April 1st through April 8th. And we're going to start with the Mercury Ritual cycle, which is a communication aid technology. The travel may be more frustrating. Patience is going to be required. Repetition, like you said, you have to read like it's going to take you two or three times to do it. You'll get it done as long as you can get it done, as long as you take the time to do it. Venus is in Pisces. This is relationships. And it can have a mixed theme because um, it could be more connectivity, more soulful right now because it is still in, right now it's still in, um, it's at 25 degrees of Pisces. So now we're still, renew with Venus is our, our, what we want, our value, our love, what kind of relationships we want to build. Um, you know, the things, you know, like I said, the things we value, not just what we value materialistically, it's our values. Like what's your value system speak to you? It's not just that it's, it's, it's that as well. So that moves into, um, it, that moves into Mars, April 5th. So, um, when it moves into Aries, it's going to be a, an intense confrontation to try to make to maybe to try to make yourself happy is it playing so and running solo rather than with other people because that's the aries libra access so when you are a venusian and say i don't know somebody has a big breakup and you're in you're processed it in your neptunian time and then you move over it goes into aries you're like okay now i'm ready to go i'm ready to move on but you don't want to take anybody with you at this time you're not ready you're not like that that's one of those things that um for that but reorganizing it's going to be um mercury retrograde is at 27 degrees aries that's the reorganizing aries themes so wherever this lands in your chart the themes you may have already been entangled with since the north node is also in aries north node is why we're having eclipses it's the nodes of the moon but it's the intensity it's intense it's the nodes of fate there's a lot of reasons why when we come in the nodes are placed where they are that's really where we react um to incarnate with that's we choose to be here at this time and we need to figure out why um but that's good it's going to activate the, the theme because i want to deal with a bunch of fucked up shit where's your aries in your heart in your heart in your chart seventh house seventh house relationship with chiron who's right in the middle of this thing that's okay. Chiron's a healing. You're you're healing. This is actually Chiron's in in and this is the Pisces part of that that Chiron healing. There's going to be that me against you. You and like and if people aren't working with you, you're going to think that you're enemy. They're not. They we all everyone's working at their own pace in their own way. But so let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. I work with three women, Oof. and sometimes we <laughs> are great. Yep. Um, we're all headstrong leaders. I got that Aries. I got a Leo. I got a Pisces who is in a leadership role. I I'm dying to know what her moon is, but I don't want to ask her. Um, the rising. Yes. I, 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 I mean, I can't, I feel 
what's your birthday? Do you know what time you were born? Like, well, you know, if you can get her, like the, the, another thing that actually was a good start. I had a, I had a mentorship not too long ago is the moon phase. What moon phase? And there's a book called Astrology. I don't even know how old she is. Like she's, everything is like either she's 40 ish. Astrology for yourself has the moon phases and it describes the personalities that come of it. Yeah. The moon phases. And that's where you start. So it's interesting. Like that's the overall. If I, if I know the, I know her birth date. So, and I'm yeah, not sure if she's 43, 44, she's around there. You know what I mean? You can usually use, look to their, um, their, uh, the outer planets and yeah. her, for her generational planets. Well, yeah, I mean, I can look up her birth date and look up the two years and know where her Mercury, like I'll, I, yeah. it's either one place or another. It's right. Not all over the place. You know right, what I mean? Right. So Mercury travels with the sun. We know that. Yep. So, you know, that's how I can communicate with her, but like. We have, my job is coming to an end. Okay. Um, if you watched any of the past episodes, you've, and I've come to terms with it. I, I'm happy about it. My, I'm graduating, all of this stuff. So it it's is opening, a new, it's opening up space. For, yes. Or of your other stuff. Yeah. And I love it. And I didn't have. You I wouldn't do it to, yourself, I bet. Like either. Which what's is, that? You probably would not have chosen yourself at first you know how you know how some things just kind of show up and you're like ah but you're like you wouldn't have chosen to leave no i wouldn't right? have and um sometimes this is i think so, so. i i know i'm a leader i know i can lead i know i can be i know i can do a bigger position than what i'm doing right now exactly um but I talking agree, to i the, agree with you we buddy. have to work together on a couple of things mm -hmm. um <laughs> I, i'm grappling with if and everything's coming to an end so we have to wrap things up together we have to there's a lot of things we can do individually but then this ending piece we have to do it together as a team mm -hmm. um one of the players does not like to work together as a team she likes to do everything on her own um which is fine uh, and i'm good as a leader i'm also good as part of a team i'm a great team player yeah. i will take a back seat if someone wants to lead i really right. will mm -hmm. um but i don't know if i should go into the meeting like okay ladies mind your words they could we could say something that doesn't we will we don't want to you know well, don't, we don't really mean mm -hmm. or you know it's we could have sharp tongues and you should write this down on a piece of notepad oh, and yeah. walk and, and go into your meeting with this pad. So, and let them start the meeting. And then when it's your turn, go, you know, I do have other hobbies. And there are some things that usually kind of show, like just find a way to, to present it. Go sharp tongues is, is, is what I'm trying to avoid because I know that it's right now. I know this isn't, you know, you don't, you try to keep it to a layman, but let them, you know, just have them in case you need the points and you can, you can, you can like interject them. But yeah. if they're not welcome, it's really like when it comes to work and astrology, I know that I get the, I got the looks like it's, oh, I sent a meme to you one time. I think that was, um, it said, are you the one that goes up and offers free so unsolicited astrology yes. advice when nobody yes. asked for it? Yes. Because yes. that was definitely me. But yeah, I have yeah. to lose my place. Like I, that's yeah. not my place. Not, not ever. Like I, I mean, the looks and the people like, weren't very that psyched about. The, there was only a, like two, three or four. Yeah. It's amazing. I, people are changing. Gonna... Like I said, uh, jokingly, technology was going crazy. Emails weren't getting by. Da, 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 da. And um, I said jokingly in front of my boss, who's the vice president. And, um, the event coordinator, I said, <laughs> Mercury's in retrograde. And I didn't think my boss, who's about to retire, went, she went, what? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so she got, I was like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I can say that yeah. stuff around her yeah. and she'll be like, oh, um, because I think she has, well, I know she has, she has children that are 
millennials that okay. like deal with it. And um, the the other one that's the Leo, she definitely, she asks me all the time, what's going on? Yeah. And, <laughs> um so i love it when the ones that 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 nicks you the most they're like and eh, what and then all of a sudden there's yeah. something going on in their world they're like where's what's my happening I don't, yeah. like, <laughs> I don't like that i'm like you didn't you poo pooed on it a second ago and now you're gonna now you want to know something she doesn't she'll tell people up front they're like she there's so we deal in workforce development and some of the our players are have very big manufacturing um businesses i don't know what mm -hmm. you want to call it mm -hmm. and there's this one woman who's a, a phd very smart has an engineering firm um and like she was talking to my coworker, and my coworker goes yeah i'm a leo that's why i'm like this and i was like oh my god like i think we feel so protected sometimes um because but then other people they come right out with it. Well, I would never my... start a conversation with, yeah, I'm a Gemini. Do you know what? My... Oh, I'm not just a Gemini. <laughs> my husband, my husband went for a walk with the dog the other day and our neighbor we've never met before on the other side, he was walking her and I wasn't there. And she's like, oh, are you the new neighbor next door? She's like, I'm the homeowner's president. Not her name. Not her name. Not her right. Name. I'm the president. I'm like, what does that have to do with? Anything. anything. <laughs> I mean, we're not okay. Cool. Yeah, I think that's uh, a lot with what's going on too. People are going to be a little more assertive. They're assertive, a... but more in only by Aries. Aries forms of insert uh, being assertive is being me, 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 me. me. <laughs> I'm the homeowner's president. You're not. Oh, by the way, my name is Anne. Like what? <laughs> Are you trying to like say, oh, my refer my, to my, me my, as president? My level Anne, is better than you because I'm the, <laughs> yes. you know what I mean? It's like, yes, well, I'm Jack and I'm a this, you know, and yeah. So, well, so hi, I'm Jack. It's just, I'm like, not the president. I'm not the president. That. <laughs> nor do I care that you are. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know, so whatever now that's... i know who i can be pissed off at if i get a infraction on my homeowners thing okay so this is another very 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 this will be good for your meetings and this is probably okay good for you with the aries head with, with this all in happening in aries it's our head yeah. our head our head we're not worried about whatever anyone else's head it's like our okay. head and the picture of our action of what we expect things to be it's a scenario it's like what you don't want in your world to look like. This is okay. like a time to take those moments and say, this one's got to go. This has got to go. This Maybe this is time for you to go and you just didn't see it. Somebody else saw it and then is pushing you. I think the universe does that stuff personally. Yeah. So then you have Mercury retro coming in Aries, which is extremely impulsive. Yeah. So, and I, I triple checked all my stuff. Pause before thinking. Before Oh my God, before doing and before deciding, you want to pause before doing any of it. Okay, say it again. All right, pause before you think, do, or you decide when or what you're going to do. You have to be actions having to redo, you're going to have to have, gonna, everything's going to have to be redone by the time, by March 25th, or not March 25th, three weeks from now. April 25th. April 25th. You have to dial it back for three weeks for the most of April. Dial it back. If you can send the email, have an email ready, don't send it. You know what I mean? Write down on your paper what you would like to say when you walk into that meeting. Say it if you have, if, if the if the timing presents itself and it doesn't come across to where you're going to have, this person now looks at you as an enemy because you're on Libra side going, this isn't really work because that's now Libra that has the North Node there, but the North, now they're all alone over there. They have everything on Aries. Yeah. So now everything's with the North node. That's where you really want to go to. So hold face. I mean, I am always like, I like to bow out of things gracefully. I can wait. I try, but I've done that by practicing by listening to astrology and actually following what I've learned. Um, the eclipse, Yeah, I have a, a, an Aries moon. So it's diff difficult for me sometimes. 
Yeah, I yeah, that's why that bell and you have all this on your moon. Yeah, all of it. You emotionally are, I mean, is I mean, that's gonna be and now you gotta watch your moon. But you like, know what, Michelle? I'm okay because I know it's happening. I know it's coming. I I I always have I I've always have, even in my yearbook, I think I've used this as an example. Even in my yearbook, people were like, You need to slow down, you're gonna have a heart attack, but blah 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 blah. I never did speedy drugs. I've always mm -hmm. smoked a ton of weed because mm -hmm. I need to slow the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, that. And when I would drink, it was like, you know, what does alcohol and fire do? It blows up. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I Yeah, it's not good. I'm not a fan. I don't I, I don't like the way it uh yeah, I just don't like the, I mean, I just feel that it adds fuel to any fire. Doesn't matter what who's fire any is, fire. It yeah. Never turn out okay. There is a, some. My brother is the happiest drunk I've ever met. My husband, yeah. same. I'm not. Yeah. So I don't. Fire! 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 <laughs> Do you right. remember right. Beavis and Butthead? Yes. Yes. <laughs> fire! Oh fire! We were just talking about um the Jerky Boys. Remember the Jerky? Oh boys? my God! Yes. There we go. On the tapes. Oh my the God. Tapes. Jeff Weir. Jeff. What was it? Weir. I want to hear. I want to talk to Brett Weir. Remember Brett Brett Weir? <laughs> Oh, that's right. <laughs> right. Okay, so all the actions are going to have to be redone, rethink, re you're going to change them. Okay. That's, personally, like, I understand there are certain things that have to be done. Right. That's right. And if things like, like, like people get worried because, so my husband's got a new, like, launching a new thing, like, but he's been working on this thing well before Mercury retrograde. Right. Just because Mercury shows up retrograde doesn't mean it undoes. But you don't start it on the Mercury retrograde. Right, right. You can start at the, uh, even the shadows, which is really kind of where a lot of the, you see what Mercury retrograde is almost easier than the shadows, I feel. Yeah. I had a huge Mercury retrograde uh, shadow scenario three days ago. And uh -oh. it was, and but it, so, you know, as an astrologer, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. time start. And then I'm like, this is a great example of what, as bad as it was for you, and I'm sorry you're stressed, but you, it, <laughs> Mercury retrograde is. And Can you exactly say what happened? Because yeah. I think people like, yes, when I you can. put it in perspective, it's like, sure. you know, it's not gloom and doom. And it's funny. Unless because, you're a king or a queen. <laughs> right, of course. Right. So in, in the midst of it, and I knew, I, I didn't even think much of it because I knew it was shadow. I know this kind of gives you a little bit of the, the, the symbols of what will be coming up, but this was a major symbol that came up. So somebody, a, fr a friend of ours had called and they had some situations with somebody that they had given the Instagram account for a business to come around and do it. Well, they outsourced, mm -mm. they didn't know anything about, yeah, yeah, yeah. about Instagram. So they outsourced it. Well, sure. these outsourcers, my husband does cyber security stuff yeah 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 so these outsourcers were trying to lock down they locked down these people this is how they do it these seo company they locked down their and their way to get into without using them they tried to lock them all out so wow. they had control over their instagram their facebook this 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 so uh, it all comes the phone for jack in a panic because he knows because i was i'm a good friend of the person that who called in a business sense. Yeah. So he did it, did it all, locked him out. They came back and said that he can still get in and he locked him out. He didn't. Happen. Yeah. The next day, the same guy called and said, you got to let them back in. He's like, why are you doing this? Do you understand they're trying to undermine you? And he's yeah. telling him this like this. Well, we can't do this. We can't do this. But you're asking somebody who's telling you what they're seeing. This is the second wow. time. This happened like a year and a half ago. Wow. So I'm like, oh, that is perfect. Mercury yeah. retrograde. And I didn't even think about it because what am I going to say? Tell him no, because Mercury's retrograde. Right. Give it a shot. See right. And this is all relationship related. This is relationship related. The Mercury is the... an emergency to get yeah. these people out because of what they were yeah. doing to their site. And they were ruining things. And they had to get back in for some sort of reason. And he's like, I wouldn't do this. I would not do this. This is not a wise. He goes, I got to do it. He, so he let him back in, but with limited access. You know, it's like you can right. control certain things. Right, but right. The kind of things that don't do big things. Like don't do big yeah. things. Are you going to have to redo it? 
Um, double I think I said before my parents put their house for sale on the day Mercury Station. And I said, mm. I've said before, my mother and I don't have the greatest relationship. Um, but like she would, when I, she said, like, the house is for sale. Like, uh oh, you're going to have to redo it. <laughs> don't you know? I don't want to say that. I know. <laughs> Tell them. What are you going to do? do? They, yeah, I know. I, I mean, yeah, you got to just kind of watch it and go, okay, you know, I saw what happened. Go, and I know that you know that I'm into this kind of stuff. This is a Mercury retrograde kind of thing, and yeah. it's happened. So, you know, if, if you want to start to pay attention, if you want to just, you know, like you, like I said, there are certain situations that yeah are impossible to handle and hopefully they work out and the smaller and then they're just small little little snafus that oh somebody forgot to sign a paper or somebody forgot right. to oh I left that paper at home. I was supposed to have it at the at the opening. Um the eclipse. Ooh. Um so the biggest thing coming with the eclipses is the Ju and, and the Jupiter Uranus conjunction. Yeah. Okay. Let's so hear it. The aspects are significant changes. And they're okay. whether you whether you're ready for them or not. Okay. And so a lot of people with their stuff still hanging out in, in air in, in Pisces are probably trying to process whatever is happening. Like and I and I'm sure right now that is not in my world, thank God, but I've been there so many times and I know yeah. this. But um, you have to be ready for the timing to show up for the changes to occur. So Mercury retrograde is giving you time. You know, I mean, people have to like take assess, assess your situation, assess your life. What makes you happy? If you can't change a lot, that's fine. Change one thing that's going to make you move forward that because changes are coming. Whether you like it or not, like there's going to be some significance in everyone's world. Because Uranus yeah. and Jupiter are the big, the big dogs, the biggies. No. <clears throat> yeah, and Jupiter is it is a benefit, but placed with Uranus, the unexpected, yeah. the you know the majors. I mean, and it's in Taurus. This is like you know, this could be earthquakes, like they talk about. I've heard this many times. You know, that's like the. I have a feeling it's going to be a crazy tornado. <clears throat> I, I, right I, through the where the line of the, I mean that is right tornado I'm alley. Me. Now I'm wondering, like per my personal, my, my is like, as per people or oh, just living their own little lives, not living the world mundane events, this is like a, something that you want so bad. And all of a sudden you just, you thought you were there and then it's not mm. because Uranus decided to do what it did. That's why when it comes to Mercury retrogrades, this is what we need to pay attention. This is coming by I think it's April 12th or 11th or 12th, but it's still a three degree or a three day orb. So you have like, it's uh, between, I think the, I think it's the 11th, 12th, 13th, 10th, 11th, 12th. And then you, <clears throat> you know, you're going to start, it, it should, it's already, I think it's actually already an orb. Um, actually I can tell you right now. Um, today. Yeah, exactly. There's 17 degrees Jupiter. 29 it's a it's out 20 seconds out of the orb by tw and jupiter's at 20 so now that's gonna and that's in taurus so that's gonna have you know <clears throat> it'll have a lot to say it's an earth sign so the changes that are there are very um concrete you know very planted very seeded whatever you've been seeding maybe all of a sudden came up and it's not just right. And now this is the time you change that, you know, it's not all do it's no, we're not doom and gloom here. We're just working with the energies to say, okay, I tried this, this crazy thing happened. And now this is all gone. And I got to do this to change. You know, it's like one of those things that it's not everything. Like it's not, you know, you use the energy. I yeah. don't know how to else to say it, but Uranus is unexpected unwanted un unplanned changes and jupiter yeah. magnifies that yeah uh, like Ma jupiter came in and magnified covid that's what happened it's oh, like yeah. i mean you know it's a benefic until it's not i mean it, it's not, it's a benefic for the most part but placed in certain situations it can have too much energy it's too much it's like yeah. oh, it's just it's, it's overwhelming too yeah it's overwhelming so that might be a little belt bumpy a healthy awareness of your life, where you are, your standings, money. 
This is a big money thing. Taurus is money. Is yeah. your 401k set up? Is, you know, and now it's like the time. And now it's to do some in do some do some research on what you're gonna do with come the future. Uranus is the, the future. future. Yeah, future. <laughs> okay. Now we have we're on the third, way past the third. That Venus Neptune, which is on April 3rd. Venus and Neptune are conjunct? No, okay. Venus and Neptune, yes, they're conjunct. And this is a bomb for the soul, is what I've heard. Okay. Um, it's it's a it's a deep, it's very feeling, very deep feeling, very passionate, very compa not impa not passionate, but compassionate. You more, passion, so more passion, more passion, more full work, compassion, energy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But you're going to have sensitivity to that of others as well as yourself, but mostly others. You might actually feel that towards like, you know, you, you're feeling, for, I mean, and for what's going around, I'm sure this has to do with a lot to do with the world and stuff like that. People are going to really start, you know, that's coming up on um, Wednesday. <clears throat> um, surrender, release, forget, forgive, forget. Like if you want to, if you want to move forward with your life, don't hang on to the best. You okay. gotta let go of the past, let go, let go, let go. I just saw something on YouTube, which was kind of a cool little idea. I thought, take a bunch of salt, wash your hands with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I saw one too. I was going to share with you uh, cinnamon. Blow cinnamon into your front door, whatever doorways you use, like front huh. door, back door, blow cinnamon into the doorway yeah. for, for prosperity. I like that. I haven't heard that one. That's a good one. That's a witchy uh, one. Witchy. This, is uh, Wicca. Of, this is a lot of feelings that you're not going to be able to reset, to re, to express. You're okay. Sensitive to basically everything. Escape. Escape reality if you can. Don't escape reality, but rest. Retreat. Yeah. Take that. Give Even yourself, the trees give yourself rest. A whole facial. Walk during the, during walk in the nature. Yeah. Nature, nature. <laughs> right. right. So April 4th, and Venus then moves into Aries. And that is what basically we have been talking about that does happen on Thursday. Okay. Uh, Thursday, the 4th? The 4th of April. Okay. Yep. So that's most of the month of April. It's in detriment. Detriment is, say you are in Spain. This is not your home. You don't have resource there. You don't know anybody right. there. You went yourself. How do you find your don't way? The language. If you don't have your phone. You don't have anything else. You're just there in exile yeah. like going i don't know where to go what to do don't know where who to choose from so you kind of reach for the planets around you but right. you gotta go with the flow you, you really really it's it's hard it's bold because venus is a feminine sign mm -hmm. and it's an aries ruled by mars which is an mm -hmm. action go and venus just wants to like okay let me just relax retreat let me chill let me see a minute what's happening because you don't know, you have to think, thinking for, you'll be thinking for yourself, um, very independent. Um, Venus is going to pull in some Mars, Marsy, Martian energy, which is, I got this, you know, so you may have a thing with your friend at, or whatever, at work going, I got this meeting. Yeah. Leave the, leave the little list that you brought with you. Okay. A better time. I, won't, I actually won't be in work on Thursday, so that's good. Oh, good. So, yeah, but, you know, it's always good to have what in the back of your mind, like, what would I say if this came up? If yeah. it's how it presented itself, like, you know, you kind of feel yeah. them, like, you know, you don't want to add to their, if exactly. they're, because everyone's there. Everyone's yeah. having these times. Everyone's going through all of this. And if she needs her Mars moment, is it really going to kill you? No. Um, trying to get creative with relationship matters. You're going to try to, a lot of people like, you know, with uh, the Aries Libra, Aries Libra access. Us, like once again, me, you, me, my partner, me with my partner, me with this. Um, this is going to get tried. To, like if things get stale, you might get to get a little creative. You know, you might get a little creative because of the net. Uh -oh. that's, that's, that's Neptune. Neptune helping Venus. Get creative with like, like, let's go to a pizza place. Pizza place. Oh, yeah. Pizza. How was that? Delicious. We ate it before I got your message. How was so it? Crazy. It was delicious. It was so oh, good. So that sounds fun. like fun. Innocent fun. Like, you know, you want innocent yeah. fun. I mean, not innocent, yeah. but, you know, you if you want to go out and have a party and go out and party, but. Not everything is the horizontal mambo. No. You gotta exactly. have. Horizontal mambo. I like that. 
you know, but, you know, drinking just sometimes can, you know, yeah. you just want to be careful. Neptune is alcohol. Neptune is drugs. Yeah. And that might create a problem with Venus, which with is a feminine. So if you drink, you get drunk, you get that. I mean, these are so, these are, these are ways they show up. They can show up in certain situations. You know, your, you know, your situation, you know, where you're at, you yeah. know what to do. We know what not to do. Is it hard not to, if you want to go out and get, rip it up, don't meet that person. You don't want to make sure you don't say the wrong thing to. Right. Put the right. phone Watch down. Watch your words. No drunk text. No There's drunk email. Be lots of baby making. <laughs> you know, um, uh, working on our, our career. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. That's my career. That's um, okay. Okay. So some of the Aries point parts of our chart, wherever that lands, um, they may not be as organized as they could be. This is that is the Mercury retrograde. I love Mercury retrograde. I know I get little storms in my, in my stuff too, but I also finish the book. I also finish that that writing that I wanted to do. I also go back to that, that piece that I've been thinking about that I can't, I, I just kind of stop moving forward. You know, I stay, I stay to what I've been working on. I don't try to like do something new. Like all of a sudden I'm going to do a big TikTok dance. I'm not doing that. You know, we know, but we all know that. Uh, I can't even get on TikTok. I don't know how to do it. Um, and then the rest of the week is basically, is basically the Mercury retrograde of, um, and then you the know, eclipse and the eclipse is the eighth, the eighth. That's how you One week. people that's next week. So on Monday. It's on yeah. Monday. So we have uh that's the intensity of that is escalating. You can kind of feel it. I can feel it, but what I heard they were doing, which is a very interesting, um, something that I think I'm going to check out is, and I didn't know this. If anyone is like one of those doubters or whatever, they want to see what an eclipse can do. They're watching the zoo in the San Diego zoo. They're going to watch the animals. Animals do different things. Some they they noted it last, I think, total solar eclipse. They noticed they did, uh, I think they videoed it. And there are certain animals that did things that were way they've never done before. And that is not in their, their, in their, in their gyroscope. You know, well, my dogs are acting a fool. I'm telling you, it's just all of Olive too. She's actually, I'm like, what do you, why are you standing there? Like, what do you do? Like, when do you go there? Like, you know, I'll say things like that to her. I'm like, what are you doing over there? Come here, like, you know. But um, uh, when it comes to April, let's see, oh, shoot. Let me see April fifth. See this, like these now, all of these transits that all of this that we're talking about are exact. So this is going to be the whole week. So to add to that, anything more? Yeah, you should really pretty focus on review, revise, revisit, start there, start feeling the eclipse, start feeling the emotions that are like are coming up for you because it's going to be your feelings and then work off your partner, see how they're feeling. Like even this, me and Jack, we don't, me and my husband, we don't, we don't get on, we don't argue, but we, I can, we can sense, I can sense like he's somewhere. And I know where his, I know where his things are, but I let him be because I know, yeah. you know, I don't try to like, oh my God, don't back like that. This is what's happening to you. Do you understand that this, you know, I just take note. And then yeah. if something comes up again in the same kind of transit, like I'll, I'll, I'll follow the journey through it. And I'm like, last time you were here, you kind of had this kind of scenario. This is the same kind of situation that we went through. And actually it's funny I think it was a Mercury retrograde. I'm gonna have to start making note of that. I thought it was um I thought it was something else of ours. Nothing crazy. Like we don't get it, it just gets, you know, a little bit miscommunication. A lot yeah. of miscommunication. Like and and but it comes across like marsh Martian wise. Like it becomes very Marsy. Like, why would you say it like that? Why aren't you understanding how I want you to understand? Like wanting you to explain it to me in a way that's miscommunications it's like it's just nippy snappy words like you said yeah just quick words yeah you know, very it's 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 huge like and to get through that week we can do if you want to do this on sunday right before the um eclipse uh, we can do that in like send in or we yeah. can even record midweek at night after after child goes to bed we can always do recordings you know and put he them goes up. to bed after me oh fucker 
mysterious. <laughs> he doesn't. He never goes to bed. It's <laughs> funny. I was like, oh, first time I can record without him here because I think he was here two Mondays in a row. Like they had off, and then they had spring break. And uh, it's so much easier. Do you remember I crazy. said to you, and this might have been on our Instagram live. I said, man, Scorpio Moon, that kid throws a whammo almost to the minute. Scorpio Moons are, I, I get, I get almost to the minute. It squares my sun. So I have a, I get, I get internally like a little bit like a little deep. And I'm like, oh, and then I, I get lost of what to do. Yeah. Yeah. I get lost of where do I start? What do I, what do I, what do I feel like doing? I can never really put a, I can never really pinpoint it. And it's funny, like, we went to, he wanted a, um, it's just a safety issue. I have a, he's got an Apple watch, but it's hooked up to my phone. So he, he, can't, he can't get things on it and blah, 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 blah. So we have, I mean, umpteen old, you know, iPhones. So I told him a few months ago, I was like, when we have a day off, we'll go, um, get it hooked up so he he wants to listen to music while he's skateboarding and playing basketball and stuff mm -hmm. okay that's fine does he have does he play video games like uh does oh yeah this is his headphones for video he, games. he talks to people on like online and stuff yeah that's, that's yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah that's so um i was like okay so it was spring break so um what was it tuesday maybe tuesday or wednesday it wasn't wednesday it was tuesday and um, so Mercury had stationed about 24 hours and uh, we're driving to the store. And I was like, look, this is going to take a long time. And he like, what? I said, Mercury went, you know, stationed yesterday. We're, it's not going to work out. You know, it's not going to be a five minute transaction. Uh -huh. He like rolls his eyes. Mom, mom. Oh, you know, we're there three hours. We go back and forth. The guy at the store, um, downloads all my husband's phone stuff not my kid my kid has nothing because he has it so there i'm um, all that confusion happen? like the guy was confused but didn't act like it telling me telling us about how instagram is bad and all this stuff is bad and then you know getting them the phone I'm like i wanted to be like i'm the parent of this kid like you're not thank you very much and then like he downloads my husband's information. It takes us three hours. A woman comes in, an elderly woman. Someone tried to steal her identity. Like she gave them all their inform her information. Mother made a name, all where she lived, passwords, all this stuff. And even my kid is like, oh my God, he's trying to help her. The guy's trying to help her. I'm trying to calm her down. Like, but there's no calming down in that kind of situation. No. You know what I mean? Like, no. No. but no. like we left the store and I look at him and he's like, what? I was like, you know what I'm going to say? <laughs> and he rolls his Don't eyes. Don't say it. Like, I, say it. It. <laughs> I know I do that too. I like, I'm like, when I got back, when we, when we, he got that phone call from my friend that, and this is a big guy. Like this guy's got businesses and businesses. And I'm like, yeah. don't even tell me he just did. That. I was so mad at him because he was my friend and I put my husband through hell to do what he did. And then yeah. you want him to undo it when he's yeah. telling you don't, don't do, do it. They're yeah. being, they're being, they're manipulating your system. They're taking your information. Right. They're changing your passwords. What day was that? Was that Tuesday? Was yes. It was like two. My like, God, that's the same day. Wednesday, Wednesday, wait. Monday, wait, Tuesday. Today. What day, Monday? Today's, Today's Monday. 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 It was Wednesday, Thursday. Was yeah, it was Wednesday, Thursday. So it was like yeah, yeah. It wasn't yesterday. It was the day. Before. Yeah, so it was third. Yeah, crazy. I was shocked, but I was shocked, and I, I was shocked that I didn't. Well, like I said, um, I told you about the uh, insurance part. So he doesn't. It's fine. He doesn't have to pay attention. I pay attention. Yeah. But when it came up, I was like, this is perfect for Mercury retrograde. This is yeah. what I'm talking about. This is what we look for. Because if somebody came at me like that, it, it was literally the next day. He's like, you got to let him back in. 
you know, and that's why I was like, all right, this isn't going to go well because it's going to happen again. And you're going to have to relook at it again. And you, you, you know, he's, he better not call. He better not call to do it again. Like, you know, you, you've now you're done. Like, that's it. Like he, he put him through a lot of stress and I don't think they even realize that. So that's why like, you know, you, you take into consideration it. So you put it in your head so you don't get frustrated when things, if they don't work out, but you also don't waste your time. Yeah, that and I think be patient. Patience. Knowing, I don't know that me saying to Adam, um, this is going to take a while. He was way more patient with what Absolutely. was going on. Um, but everybody knows Mercury retrograde. It's not like it is the only retrograde everyone knows. Nobody even has yeah. an idea how significant actually Mars and Venus are. Mercury and Gatorade. Mercury and Gatorade. <laughs> did uh, i send you that meme no i don't think so i want no that. it's like Mer it's, somebody did like all this stuff mercury and gatorade something else <laughs> something else. like all these like yeah it was funny uh if i've come across it i'll, I'll show yeah. you again it's funny yeah so um yeah so that's uh that's basically okay so um i was gonna look up okay. so i'm gonna show you something with the eclipses that i couldn't show you last week Mm -hmm. You know, there's all this like fate. Or well, that's the moment. nose. Well, that's mm -hmm. the nose is what's doing this is because node is a node of the moon. It's the fate. It's our fate. The moon is where we come. That's, that's, I mean, it's, I mean, uh, emotionally, whatever. It's, 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 it's a lot, it's a longer than I can even, I'm not going to do that. But um, it's, it's the, uh, the fate, it's, it's their fated events. The, the new, that's why eclipses are so, are, are definitely picked, are, are definitely overly explained by any astrology. You're going to see so much information on this eclipse because it is super important. There's so many, there are so many different, it's never been in this well, one thing. We've never had Pluto in Aquarius. In Aquarius. Yeah. It's time. So nobody knows what to really expect and what that's going to be. You can kind of tell because of everybody. I've never seen more, more celebrities selling face grooming stuff on Instagram than in my life. And now I have Bethany Frankel and Meghan Markle selling betting. Bethany Frankel is on I mean, you know what I mean? Bethany just, Frankel will sell anything. I love her. I love but, her. Too. Oh she's my God. Like, she's a billionaire though. She doesn't really have to. She's crazy. I know she doesn't um, have to, but it's, um, it's like one of those things where I think everyone is just the Uranus and technology. Everyone's going into the internet, knowing that it's easier to sell online to people than it, it, it is to actually have to go out and, you know, talk anything, you know what I mean? You should check back. I don't know. Cause you have a child, you'd know this. Um, when I was a kid and we'd have to sell Girl Scout cookies, we had to go door to door or we had to take them to the bowling alley. Or we Dude, they the set up shop in front of the weed store and the booze store. And they, <laughs> well, that's all oh, really. See, I get more gone advice online to donate than oh, yeah. I, all it is is a blast email. Go fund me. You know what go fund me is, yeah. right? Yeah. It is the number four. I think they not insure, but number four way people pay for their medical bills. That's well, it's how, I mean, people have it. They can help. I think that's a great idea. I, I like mean, GoFundMe. I had a friend who was I'm dying of cancer. That. What's that? I'm down for GoFundMe's and stuff like I that. I am too, but like, it, it's, why is just, that the case? Like, well, it shouldn't be like that. Well, no, nor should the billion dollar lottery. You have a billion dollar lottery and everyone else put in it. Why can't everybody put a dollar in to the taxes? Right. You get a billion dollars. I mean, it's a billion dollars. Right, spread the word out. I, I don't understand. Like, that's one thing. I know this probably sounds very- I think that that naive, is coming. Very, huh? I think that that is coming with Pluto and Aquarius. I really do. They're, the uprising of the people is coming. It really is. Well, there's it's, the big this, Jupiter. The big Jupiter. Well, well, the good thing, two good things. We get Neptune moving out of Pisces in- yeah, but he's going straight into Aries. But it'll dry out. 
it'll like it'll it'll it's not so foggy everything because everything that hits it, like they can't you can't see you can't get clear like it yeah and, and it is but it's working on the past too you're like bringing up like you, people that have to let go of things this is it like you know it's you know you ever like have a breakup with that boyfriend you go back just because you just don't have anything else and then you end up like a coyote arm you're like oh my god how do i get back out of this you chew your arm off <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's like one of those things that, you know, people are, it's, it's, it's pretty big to make big choices. And right now people are in also, if you're not ready to make that choice, don't, it's okay too. We're, like let it run its course. It can happen. You don't know. Like, you know, a lot of people that start on Mercury retrograde and stuff, relationships or whatever, whatever, they don't have any idea that how it's going to turn out, especially not astrology. I mean, astrologers, of course, but you know, it's a lot of things that I, I've been seeing in the, in the charts is um, too fast, not, not Saturn being there is maturity. It is relationship maturity. It is whatever planet it's touching maturity. Your sensitivity being mature. You have to be mature with these events that come up in your life. Like Saturn also brings its father time. It is when things come to, you know, you can't be just being that high school girl all the time going, oh my God, he's just so cute. You know what I mean? But what is he going to out? Like, you know, this is. Right. This he's never, never going to be, he's always going to live in as a 17 year old football player. Get, he's right. never going to mature. Right. That's one of those things. Okay. Show me what you were telling me. Oh, that okay. Is so this is, you know, um, eclipses omen versus event was very interesting. So mm -hmm. eclipses the king kings and popes and very powerful people were always very weary of eclipses and well, you know it's prince charles was born on an eclipse okay I mean, so here we go elizabeth was born on an eclipse i believe they were all so coronation we're gonna back up the last eclipse was may 5th coronation big deal this guy wanted to be king his entire life and his mom well, she lived forever. Lived a long time. <laughs> that's not, that's all right time. Yeah, I think I was. So saying. it goes back and back, but I just wanted just Charles's lineage. So Charles would have never had the chance to become queen, king, unless his uncle abdicated the throne. Mm -hmm. He did that two days before a, a eclipse. So this whole string of Queen Elizabeth's life, Charles's life and William's life started on an eclipse. So the abdication of Edward the eighth was two days before an eclipse. Mm -hmm. So now, and I had done this all before nice um, the cancer diagnosis. So other things happened on eclipses, but these are major, the, the wedding of Charles and Diana was again, uh, like a day and a half before an eclipse. And then their son, William, was born like eight hours before an eclipse. The oh. very next eclipse. Diana's death, again, was two days for, before an eclipse. William and Harry were both born. And Catherine Ooh. was also born on an eclipse. She was almost born exactly at an eclipse. Really? How about yeah. Mary? What about Harry? I didn't look at Megan. I, I haven't looked at Megan. Um, so here's uh I think this is Charles's birthday. Yeah. Um but I love, uh, your, I love your how did you do? I love your presentations. I, I, these look great. How did you do that? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're so uh, <laughs> but okay, so I did that presentation before they got the cancer diagnosis. So the diagnosis wasn't on a, an eclipse. It was not. Um, what's that? It was not. Was not. But Catherine came out and said that she had cancer on the eclipse. So she's the next queen. So not, not taking whether you she's love them or hate them. Though. Aries and and now see this is the other thing about Aries Libra access. Something in your Aries house, if there's anything in 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 William's Aries house, affects your partner. And so, a lot of times, a lot of times, 
it affects your partner worse. Because when you look at things that are happening in your partner, in your life, go to your partner's seventh house, go to the seventh house. Right. It can be, it's more like I, I've, I've, I've come to know this more in experience as I've been doing more and more charts is a lot of things come out with your partner when, once you're as one. Yeah. Anyway, continue. So Sorry. that's very interesting because they're both cancer moons, William and, and, um, Kate, and this eclipse is squaring her moon. Okay. Like completely squaring her moon. So they were born she's six the months mom. apart. And she's the mom. She's the mom. She's the moon. Yeah. She's so the moon. she's got squared by the eclipse. Yeah. So, you know. And that's that. And that's literal. That's uh, the moon is the mother. So it's like not and in Taurus. It's exalted in Taurus. I, I'm, I'm not that that means much, but uh, you do have Uranus unexpected there. Jupiter, big things. I mean, you have. And if it's in Cancer, it's Taurus is uh what's uh is uh two and four. It's just, so it's sextiling. Yeah. yeah, I just it's like the chicken or the egg. Who came first? Did the did the events happen first, and then then well, or was it? I mean, well, the thing is, is a lot of times is it completely coincidental that all these major events? Not really. I I don't feel it, so. But I know that there are that's certain the ultimate question, you know, people don't. Oh, I've heard in a lot of lectures, um, planets don't show aren't triggered yet. Like some people have dormant planets that have not come to even show themselves yet. Yeah. When they do with an eclipse like this, you know, was it there? Probably. Did it would it come out naturally? Maybe, maybe not. But it takes an event or a planet to trigger and it actually brings that into the play it's like having somebody like the main character of a play be sick the backup comes in right so now that it's so that has triggered the backup that's why that's there yeah. um but there is supposedly uh, there's something on a world a world point and it's, it has to do with breakups or relationships um, oh yeah i mean i said to I my heart what but we um, had all this car trouble and i said I went back. He's not an astrology guy. It just doesn't. I'm slowly bringing him in the mix. And it's funny, like oh we had the car stuff happen. And I was like, the car died in that this time Mercury's retrograde this time Mercury's retrograde. I was in a car accident, Mercury retrograde. I'm like, we have car stuff when Mercury retrograde. And he goes, well, why not a little heads up? And I was like, I've been telling him for I don't. <laughs> I know exactly. I've been telling so. you. Hold on, I have to plug in my. Let me plug in my my computer. Okay. So it's gonna die. Oh shoot! Oh man! Oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're good. Not being in my own home. It's like trying to find, trying to find the. Okay. It's funny. I always get my hair cut in Aries season. Like, oh no, you should get it on a new moon. That means it, it's good. I'm getting it two days beforehand. I wouldn't do it on an eclipse, but I do it on a new moon. Eclipse is unstable energy. Yeah. No. No kidding. <laughs> um, that's why they say, and that's that's the reason. That's that's the reasons of it. It's it's the new moon. I mean, it's the moons, but they're. It's that instability that brings in that such intense, you know, emotion. Okay, good. Okay, now it's working. So once we get past today, it's not so crazy. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, well, let me see. Um, I'm sorry. I, uh... No, you're good. So uh -oh. the fifth, you know, no, well, the air fifth that that's when the air that's when the Venus moves into the Aries. So that and it's on the North Node. That's the fifth. That's the fifth Friday. Okay, right. and that's when the Aries is going to pick up the um the snippy words. You know, I mean, it's so it's in a Mars. So just think of um you being a in a locker room with men. Say, no. 
just like you know, without, without getting crazy, like I'm I mean, just kidding. I know I am, but I'm you just know, kidding. it's like, are you going to talk the lingo of many? You're going to like, oh my God, guys, don't do it like that. Don't do, don't do. Are no, you no. Like right. a little bit more like that's what that, yeah. that's what that's going to be like. Oh my God, yeah. You know what I mean? You you kind of they're going. It's going to act as if it's going to pull in some of that. Um, on the sixth, which is Saturday. Um, 18, 19, 20, 20. We, we still, it's Jupiter. This is, well, see, this is the thing is like the Jupiter, we're watching the events of what's happening. We've got enough. We've got Mars is coming into Mars is in. Okay. So yeah, Mars is in orb of Saturn. Uh, come sun, come Saturday, Mars and Saturn. Uh, well, not getting what you want is not going to go over well. Um, this could be also maturity. You know, you need to act as a mature person with all of the other Venusian things coming in. Venus is answering to Mars, which means because it's sitting in Mars's sign, which, you know, I'm sorry that that makes uh, it's a little bit clouded. Mars is the um, traditional ruler of Aries. Yes. Whenever any planet is there, Mars is like your host. Say you come to my house. Right. I'm your host. I am going to give you all the resources that you need, blah, blah, blah. But if right. you're not there, how do I know what? I don't know what to do. I don't know right. where to go. And now it's in kind of a, okay. it's in a place where it's a little bit more, um, it's it's a modern it's it's a little bit it's a different type of aspect it's a modern technique but it's a bi quint it's a bi uh, uh semi sextile which is a little bit of a it's a little bit of a it's contentious a little bit contentious so it may pull in and it's on the north node so it may get it's like it's a north node just extremes everything like you know anything that you have you you're just gonna take as a woman women in your life i mean it is that literal um they're going to come across as a little bit more eccentric 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 and not uh oh she's so eccentric like it, not that way like an eccentric way like is in where it's going to be um a lot it's going to be a lot of uh because mar because venus wants to go Mar, you have to do it like Mars wants you to do it. But now Mars is hitting Saturn. So if you hit that block, now it's going to add a lot more fire to this v Venus because it is in a fire sign. Yeah. It's junked basically. The, it'll be, it, it's not going to catch. I'm not sure if it'll catch. It'll catch up with the moon. I mean, the sun. And the sun is there. Chiron's there. Mercury's there retrograde going into Chiron. It was not going to end. So what's going to happen is you're going to be going through past wounds of, you know, maybe processing what goes on in the prior with your relationships, you know, what's going on in Pisces, which is all that, that emotional, emotional things that whatever anyone's dealing with, whatever's emotional, it's going to be, it's going to be something that we have to work through until that all moves out until it moves out. It's going to move pretty quickly. Um, yeah, these are all personal planets. So it, they yeah, these are very, this is why we're talking about. Yeah. Cause they're very personal planets. They're going to hit you at home. They're going to hit, if they don't hit you, it's going to hit somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. They're acting. They're going to act like that towards you. It's how you respond to make your life easier but not being a pushover you, but being a pushover doesn't mean that you have to be pushy you know yeah you don't have to be pushy. like you can do things in ways especially if you listen to our podcast you'll understand <laughs> that what to look for is a spa <laughs> okay what is that makes you feel good Pull out that toolbox. Okay. You know what I mean? Stay away from that person that just knows how to trigger you. You okay. know, go into a separate bedroom, read a book. 
I mean, you know, watch a yeah. funny movie, watch a funny stand up comedy, watch something right. you know, just lighten the mood. I mean, I'm sure there's a different, so many ways that this can, you know, be, you know, kind of work with, but a lot of people aren't going to really know that because it's, it's, this is a coordinated energy. Tell me that these planets don't know what they're talking about. Look at yeah. that. They yeah. know what's going on. There's a there's a storyline there. Yeah. And this is the storyline that we're trying to, we're delineating. We are breaking apart piece by piece. So you kind of know each component of what makes up what's happening. Because, you know, you can take one piece and one piece. You may get one or two. You may get three. You may get one. You may get four. You know what I mean? Like not yeah. every every scenario is going to hit every every chart similarly or right at all. but right it is going to hit someone somewhere and i feel that it's going to be with that aggression a little bit more a bit more fiery a little bit more feisty you know watch your tone i notice it in myself i mean my patience is very thin right now is it it is a little thin, you know, yeah. and it's not that anything's going wrong. It's just life. You know, you're just trying to keep in order. You want to keep in, And then, you know, things you also want to have a life. You want to be with people, but yet then you don't want to be with people. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, so choose the right people that bring you the joy that make you want to go do the things that are fun, you know, and you're still going to hit some, you will still hit some, you know, you know, tough moments, but nothing crazy, like nothing, you know, this isn't, it, it's an ending. It's very ending. I mean, I know there's a lot of, um, yeah, I think we're going to hear about a couple of divorces that'll divorces endings, but life, I mean, the eclipses are also, you know, people are just ready it. to go people. I mean, but when they go, they want to go. It's not like, I mean, I don't mean to say it like that. That's not really fair. Um, if you cut that one out. I mean, not, they don't choose, like, you know, certain people don't choose certain things, of course, but there are times when, you know, the elders and whatever, this time, you know, it's okay. And I, you know, and I heard that in um, somebody that I listened to that was going through this, where they had sat next to their, the bedside and was just like, it was a, the most they 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 looked at it as a beautiful thing because you know ninety three and then it was like it was just time and they were okay and they were happy it wasn't like a but there's still you have to process I mean it's it's gonna hit you know go see a therapy good time to see a therapist talk to a third party anything that's gonna get you out of your head because Mercury is not gonna be telling you the stories that you want to hear and it's gonna tell you stories that may not be even true that yeah. you know you're gonna go back and you're gonna find out well that's not what went on and then you're gonna start down mercury retrograde it's like no that's actually that's pretty accurate you um, know i have, i've noticed that with mercury retrograde even with myself i am not a liar i don't i mean i think if i were a liar i wouldn't say i was <laughs> yeah i find myself not giving people the full story like I hold back. Wait, when is this again? During retrograde. Okay. Like I don't want people to know everything. Where I am usually like, sorry about my dogs. No, I can't hear. I'm, oh, I'm usually the person that says all of it, all anything mm -hmm. like reserved. Right. I don't say it. This was I um just, also I I wrote outline. Down um okay so wednesday uh jump pluto feeling in the you're gonna feel in a rut wednesday moon's gonna conjunct pluto so that's kind of um <clears throat> that's a little bit debbie downer and pluto is not really the most hardy planet uh this will give you a boost uh positive a po it'll give you a power upgrade it's gonna give you some power it'll give you a little bit of um if you want to move forward on something it might give you a little bit of a chutzpah okay know? um no emo no emotional outbursts move forward with passion right. vigor clear your inspirational clarity from your inspirational events will happen but just don't emotionally um burst on thursday the moon sextiles the sun you and your emotions will be on the same page but be with your tribe don't mm -hmm. have somebody that you know pulls you out of that space that 
you are so happily to be there in make sure that you self care. Okay. Prioritize it. The eclipse hasn't happened just yet at this point. Friday, this fifth, Venus trines Pluto. Intensity towards your your uh -uh. <clears throat> intensity towards the desire your your desires your overwhelming emotion to want something, but it also makes you it'll actually make you not realizing you could feel this way about something. Like okay. you know, a lot of people that aren't in. I know that I I knew when I wasn't in a relationship for a very long time. You don't know if you ever have that feeling back inside of you. Like, you know, you're like, what does that feeling even feel like? Like, what brings you like that? Oh my God, I cannot wait to just say, wake up and just see that text, you know, just to start my day. So that's kind of, um, okay. Um, <clears throat> so the intensity towards that, but don't be too self gratifying only. You have to be a little bit more part, like, don't do it. Good luck like, with a new unique. moon in Aries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I'm so. Um, and then when it comes to Pluto, this is another thing that a lot of times that I've heard, and I don't know if this is just modern, but whatever. I don't I use traditional, but there are some modern techniques that do show up that I do like that I do recognize. Um and Anne says, uh, and this is Anne, our friend Anne, um, love triangles. And because Venus is so close to it, uh, and says usually with Pluto, it means three people involved usually. So whether it's a love triangle or you you and somebody fighting with a third or some people, two people going against one or somebody working behind the scenes to take one out, this is very big on that. But a lot of times when it comes to that and Venus involved, Hopefully that's not the situation unless it's welcomed by both parties. Um, it's not, it's not, um, relationship, not the relationship I want to be in. <clears throat> so Saturday, April 6th, we have the moon in Pisces and then sextiles Jupiter in Taurus. This is group activity. Um, this will be a feel good one, whatever it is. Moons are past. Catch up with the people that you haven't talked to in a while. That brings you joy. I just talked to my best friend, the one that I told you I'm going to see. I'm going to make sure I see her tomorrow. I haven't seen her. Well, the last two times I was here, we just we were just kind of like this. But she knows yeah. every day of my life. You know, even though I live in Florida, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I want to, I I can't talk to her for six months, but it's like yesterday whenever I see her. Yeah, yeah. That's the type of day Saturday will be. Nice. Yeah. So that's a nice way to end the week, and then Sunday. We're going to just rest, 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 because then we have the eclipse on Monday, um, which will be, we'll see. Uh, I'm interested. I'm interested to see what a lot of other people have to say about it with against what I feel. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I've been listening to quite a few. I mean, that's yeah. all I do. Is it, it's all. Yeah, I mean, all I do is validate, make sure that I'm, we're all on the same page. So we're sending the same message to, to our tribes that are listening to us and that's listen to them and they listen, you know. I I'm going to go on my soapbox here for a minute. Astrology yeah. is math. It's degrees and math and angles and the interpretations that we don't, there's not much left up to that. So like it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And if you've done any kind of studying at all, it, uh, I mean, it's helpful. It's just, it's it just, is helpful. Literal. I mean, I, I wish I, we are not, we are not ditzy women. We're not, I'm not no, sitting I'm here really going, fucking smart. Oh my God. <laughs> just kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> Venus is doing this again. It's not mm. that. We're, we're trying to like get it to where it's helpful. It's usable. We, we can, you know, utilize it to our benefit. And that's yeah. the whole point of astrology is, Get to know, get to know yourself, get to know how you respond to things. So, you know, you don't put yourself in a situation on things that are going to make you respond like that. Yeah. Notice that, that, that might trigger you that way. Yeah. That's and that's Mercury retrograde. That's relearning, revisiting. Like, you know, you got to look at yourself. I, I mean, I, I, like I said, I love Mercury retrogrades. It's like a, it's like a day off. It's like two, three weeks off. Don't yeah. do anything like people are like, oh my God. Wait, I have this thing. I'm like, yeah, but you've had that thing. That's the difference. You've had that thing you've already set up. You've already set up all this other stuff before it. That count. <gasps> it's my work, Berkey retrograde dog. 
I love him. What's his name? Prince. Bear he's Dogu. So handsome. He is you know handsome. He knows he's handsome. He's so he's little. Handsome. He'll always be a puppy. Uh, yeah, every all the kids love him. He knows how cute he is, but who's the pain of this? He's the one that's going a little crazy. He has seizures, and oh. he has to take his medicine, and he doesn't take his medicine. No, oh, no, you're very bad, and then you have seizures. <laughs> no, I could never handle that. How do you handle that? It's hard. <laughs> it was rough the first couple of times, but, you yeah. know, we, the same things for, you know, humans is the same pets. You know, we get them. Fresh air, blow in his face, get him grounded, get him. You know what else they say for seizures is a little maple syrup on your finger. That's so funny. My the so we got him from a friend of mine who opened up three restaurants and she couldn't take care of him anymore. She was like, I used to give him honey. Yeah, honey, honey, say so anything sweet. It snaps my yeah. yeah. So uh, that's my, a census thing, you know. My dog, uh, had a, she had a, the, the, she got, she got tremors, like, because she would go ahead too much pesticide. It was like, they were spraying the, the part in, in the grass and stuff. Like I never saw anything of it. We got on Reddit, which is a great, yeah. and put the video up there. The amazing people on Reddit, the, just don't worry. It's okay. This is what you do. Gave us all the gamut of oh, yeah. I my dog all the time. Don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. She's fine blah, blah. You know? And it's like, it definitely settled me because I was holding her like this and I'm like, her head was like, and I thought she was having a seizure. I wasn't sure. That's scary. Yeah, it's, I don't have to deal with that. No, he's, I've never had a dog that is more human-like than this one. Huh. He, yeah, that's right, Mammy. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, he's a great dog. I love him. Great. I love it. That's your fourth? This is three. He was my first. We Did have you, three. Have you had the conversation about the fourth yet? <laughs> no, if I bring in a fourth, it's going to be a divorce. <laughs> Don't do that. Not now. Well, I wanted to have a couple of kids and like I we had so much trouble with that. Um like I almost died and all that. And oh no. I had preeclampsia. So um, he was fine. But um, yeah, my husband was like, no more. So then I started bringing dogs in the house. Tell me no. Don't tell me no. <laughs> I'm just bringing the dog. <laughs> and Which it's funny. Mean? My husband is, they like, the one is attached to him like glue. Uh -huh. And they just love him. And he, he's a softy. <laughs> It'd be fine probably, but why test the waters? No, and we have over an acre. We just, it's not fenced in. Oh, so that's, that's they, and we tried them just like not on a leash. They all took off. So it's, oh, that's something. The one ended up in the farm field. Oh, mm -hmm. it's not good. You know, if we know you have to put those little trackers on their, on their collars. Well, they're too small. They don't wear collars? No, the dog, they, we got that. We have that. Oh. They're too small. It like electrocuted them. I know that like, that's what it does. But Prince then started having seizures and then wouldn't go outside at all. Oh, no, no, that's no. What I no mean. Not, like, the, not the, not that. No, like the apple trackers. Oh, <laughs> no, no, we that's true. Trackers. Oh my God. We should do that. You can buy a pack of like four online. I put them everywhere. They're in every. They're in every suitcase. They're on my dog. They're on my my car. They're in. We should do that, yeah. Princey. There you go. Yeah, no, no, that's not going to work. And you put one in your son's backpack. Uh, yeah. I do the I, same. Listen, wouldn't you rather know where he's at than not? I. Don't yep, that's why you got the watch girl. and the phone. Let me tell I you. Will, I will put them on the leash. I don't. And care. I had a fight with our principal the one time. She was like, "He can't," you know use have the phone and i was like it's a safety issue lady <laughs> <laughs> all uh, right so i'm that's great i feel prepared i feel good that was great yeah i think i, I did well i think i wrote it out better a little bit more you did great thank you i'm trying i'm gonna next week's even gonna be better all right do you think yeah. we should try youtube or i i would like it this way because i can then make I videos like I did. You can, yeah, you can. Yeah, do I can edit. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like right, to cool. do it this way because that way we can go off the cuff and then we can, and you can always yeah. just, I can edit it and yeah. I can also like <laughs> do like yeah. 30 little seconds when you were talking about retrograde or Monday. And then or throw that up there or whatever you're saying, throw it up there on the, on, on the things. Yeah. All right, and, cool. And I am trying to work. I am trying to work on learning this. I have a friend that's actually mentoring me a little bit on it a little bit. I haven't seen her. Well, I try. She doesn't have much patience. So, I mean, I'm, she's not like a professional mentor, but she's a friend. And um, she gets. Are mad. you taking any classes right now? Yeah, I'm in Hellenistic still. I'm on. Oh, you still? Oh, okay, I didn't know if that was. Yeah, and okay. then I start my next two, uh, Jan June June. I'm doing number two and horary. Wow. Who's Which, that with? Not not by astrology. Adam Allenboss. It's still Adam. Okay. Adam, I like Adam. Yep. Adam yes. is very good. He's very. Yeah, good. I know you like Adam. I like um, that he explains things in more of a not so philosophical, but in a way to look at it in a more grand way instead of just using all of the keywords. Like when I talk about Venus, Venus isn't just what you value. Like, oh, I value this computer. Oh, I value this piece of paper. It's your value. Right. It's your value. It's not your, what do you do? Now, Venus is what do you do for your, to get to your values? And that's Jupiter. Which is like, I, I mean, there's different ways to look at things, but that, I think that makes a lot of sense to me for um, my delineations, at least, especially with um, that. All right, girl. I love it. it. looks sunny there. Is it sunny there? It's not. No, I just figured I like out my that light. I've been trying to figure it out over here. And no, I'm like, no, oh, it's, oh, it should be over here. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, I like it. I'm it dumb. looks like the, sun, it looks like the sunshine's coming up on you. No, it's a light. But I know, but it's, I'm telling you what it looks like. It looks great. I have it on the wrong side. So I'll put it on the other side for next week. <laughs> okay. All right. I love you. You're I amazing. You. Have fun You're in amazing. Boston. Thank you. I'll be back Thursday uh, by 11 in the morning. So uh, I'll, I'll touch base with you then. All right. Have fun. Right. Have a great week. Well, a couple you of days. Too. Okay. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.